Hey up you beautiful buggers, how the devil are we all doing? It's a neoprene general and in this video, other than getting attacked by a Mr. Farmhand, we're going to be making this, a vault tech surplus store in a container thing. <laughs> now first things first, we're going to need a vocation, aren't we? And I've chosen here, it's just up from that little brotherhood outpost, Nate Wayward, absolutely bloody beautiful. Now foundations wise, we're just going to be making a simple 2x3 rectangle. Try and find a spot where your front two foundations will snap snap into the terrain a little bit. It'll just make the overall finish look a lot nicer. You know, something like this here. Beautiful. Now, while you're putting them down, I'd just like to apologise for any background noise you may hear. My wife's watching one of her shit programmes. It's where a group of overly attractive and overly stupid people are putting a house together. Now, yes, while the show is an utter steaming power shit, it's also hysterical when the sham relationships crash and burn like the fucking Zeppelin. Anyway, now you've got your foundations down, we can move on to the next step. And this is going to involve moving moving this blue container around until it sits on two foundations, so you can build walls around it. Now, it can be quite fiddly, much akin to trying to grab a slippery seal, but you will get there eventually, don't worry. You also want the front of the container to overhang these two foundations, you know, the ones that are clipped into the ground a little bit, so it's going to be a little bit further forward at the front than it is at the back. Does that make any sense? No, it probably doesn't. Just look at the bloody video. Once you're kind of happy with the positioning, destroy it with a flamethrower trap, and then we can check it for fit. We're going to do this by placing down a glass wall, wallpaper side facing outwards. I know it's difficult to work that out with a glass wall. Use a normal one if you need to. And if it's sitting all right, it's not clipping fruit container, then jobs are good and congratulations. Once you've got it right, destroy the container again with a flamethrower trap and smash down an half wall on top of the glass wall with all the hatred that you have for this game. Beautiful. Now we're going to repeat the process for the side of the container and the rear of it. We're just going to place down a floor, place down a full size wall and slap down a half wall on top of it. Is that simple enough? Of course it is. Now just in case you didn't know, we're placing down floors so we can spin the walls wallpaper side facing outwards. I know there's other ways of doing this and you're going to have to implement one of these when you get around the back of the container, if you've used this location at least anywhere. When you come to the back here, oh no, you can't place down a foundation. What we're going to do? Well, we're going to place down a catwalk and that will allow us to flip the wall around so we've got the wallpaper facing outwards. Absolutely simply, simply lovely. Once we've got all our walls in, we're going to be left with something like this. And what do you think we're going to do next to all of our half walls? Yep, you guessed it. We're going to destroy them all with a flamethrower trap, other than the one above the glass wall at the front. Why are you doing this, you may ask? Well, I'm a pyromaniac and I like burning shit. But the other reason is because we need to remove the full-size walls from under these half buggers here. And for any of you watching who may be new to the game, for some inexplicable reason, this is the only way to do it. You either get used to it or you'll quit. That's your two options, really. Really. Anyhow, once you've destroyed all of them, go round and delete all your full-size walls. Now, be careful, don't destroy your container, because otherwise you'll have to redo all that bollocks again. And if you value your sanity and you don't want to end up like me, I wouldn't advise it. Now then, once you've accidentally deleted your container and you've had to rebuild it all, come round this side of the build and remove these two foundations here. Whip out a small catwalk and snap it to this foundation. You're then going to pull out your peat. No, that's another video. You're then going to pull out your flamethrower and destroy your container again, which for some unknown reason may turn green. I, I don't know what's happening there. Regardless of the colour though, you should now be able to snap a foundation to this catwalk here. Beautiful. Remove your little catwalk piece and slap down a wall there. Onto this wall we're going to put down a roof piece. We're going to turn it to a slopey boy and make sure it faces this way. And onto that we're going to attach another slopey boy. Fantastic. We can then move our foundations back to their original position and put back the missing one. From here we're just going to build up walls with half walls on top of them like we did around the container. Just ignore that little post in the ground there. That's for later on in the video. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, as you can see, guys, we're using the catwalks again to get our wall facing the right way around. And same as before, wallpaper side facing outwards all around these foundations. Once we get to this front bit, though, where the slopey boy is, we're not going to be able to put a wall down. So we're just going to burn the shit out of it with a flamethrower trap. With that little bugger destroyed and a new wall in place, we should be left with something like this. At this point, we can put some roofs in under underneath here. Now, these are going to be a pain in the ass to put down, so just keep bashing X or the equivalent button until it goes in the right place. Don't worry about those wasted materials. You can go and spend hours of fun scavenging new supplies. Fantastic. Once your rooms are in, you can use them as platforms to destroy all the half walls around the top of this little part here. Once they've been destroyed, jump down, remove all the random roof pieces that you didn't mean to put down, and then remove all the full-size walls from underneath the half walls. When you get
get to your last wall, it won't let you remove it because it's supporting the roof pieces. Just change the roof piece to a sloppy boy and you should be able to delete the wall. Now all you got to do is go around, repair all the half walls, put in the missing glass doorway if you've for some reason deleted it. I can't remember why I did that, but yeah, anyhow. Get everything fixed up and once you've done that, come back to the video, let me know and we'll move on to the next bit. Ah, so you're back already. Absolutely fantastic. Glad to see you didn't have an aneurysm. This little roof space up here, we're going to use it for, you know, productive things. We're going to slam down a generator in here. I'm using the little vault tech one. Just place it down, attach a conduit, run a wire bingo. That little fella will be enough to power this entire build. Now we can put down some roof pieces to cover the top of our build. This side will go down, no issues whatsoever. On the other side, you'll have to burn the slopey boy. And as you can see here, I've totally fucking missed it. So let's reposition it and try again. That's better. Look at that baby burn. Absolutely spot on. With that bugger destroyed, you can now put flat roof pieces over the top of it. If it's not going down easy, like I said, just use the patented button bash until it goes in. With that in place and any broken bits destroyed, take a step back and look at your work beautiful before we go any further let's make this look a little bit more well vault techy we're gonna put the yellow wallpaper all along these half walls here once you can start smelling the genocide and the inhumane experiments you'll know that your build's starting to come together once you've hit dictator level five and you wrap it we're going to be using this blueprint here if you don't know how to do it i'll leave a floaty card in top corner now if it bloody works it never does and we're going to place it down on the corner of this foundation we're just going to add another one to make it a bit easier for us. Once you've got it lined up with corner of your build, slam it down. Even if it's red, just press X. It will go down, don't worry. We can then remove the mat, remove these two foundations, and take off the big tall boy stair piece, which we can then replace with a chody boy stair piece. Simply, simply lovely. Now at the back here, I did exactly the same thing. That's why this pole's stuck in the ground. But obviously, you can't get a foundation in to place down the blueprint. I just used a doormat, placed it off the foundation, and then placed the blueprint down on top of it that probably doesn't make any sense and coupled with my accent it's probably even more confusing once your posts are in this is what you should be left with now i'm going to cut away and decorate the build to the best of my abilities you all know i'm terrible at this so let's just see what we come up with There you are, guys. What do you reckon of that? Not too shabby, is it? As ever, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons. The extra support is much appreciated. If that's something you guys would be interested in, take a look in the description, click on the link, and it'll show you some of the perks that you get. While you're down there, why not click on the Discord link? Yeah! That one's totally free, and you can come and chat with a bunch of insane people, myself included. And of course, guys, if you did like the video, hit that like button, and if you want to see more weekly Fallout 76 content, you know what to do hit that subscribe button as well anyway as we say in the north i love you and leave you i'll catch you at next one